What is up guys? Video game jam poop with a brand new playthrough. This time we're doing uh, one of my favorite Kirby games on the Super Nintendo, Kirby Streamline 3. Uh, and possibly my favorite Kirby games um, overall from the 90s. Uh, my favorite Dreamline one, uh, I guess. Uh, so, because this one is on the Super Nintendo, and not only that, I started playing this in 2019, uh, back on my Super Famicom, and, and I loved it. So, I thought I'd do a playthrough of this game. Because this game... It's one of my favourite Kirby games, not only that, but... Because it never came out in Europe originally. It only came out in Europe on Virtual Console. Although, I'm playing this on Kirby's Dream Collection on the Wii. So, as you can see with the borders and everything, uh, that I'm on uh, the Wii, and you can tell by the home menu. Yep, the, I'm on the Wii. So, yeah. So, we got three save files this time, of course, still. I like how if you erase it, it's just like that, and you just press it to... There you go. You've added a save file. But still... Uh, we're gonna start the game. You have in options, you just have uh, sound options for now. Uh, we're gonna start the game. We're going level one in Grassland again. And it's the same animation. Oh, wait, no, it's not because we have new animal bodies in this game. And, and the fact that um, you still have Rick, uh, Koo, and Kine, all of those from Dreamland 2, but you have three new ones as well in this game, uh, which is very cool. And the world and the levels are set up like this. So Popstar, you wanna go back to the hob world. There you go. And you can go back to levels like this. Well, let's go to the first world. Uh, and we can clearly tell what our boss is as well. It's Wispy here. So... So this time, the first time in Dreamland games, you can run. This time, in, in Dreamland 1 and 2, you cannot run. Uh, but in this game, you can. Um, and we have two animal bodies. We either have Rick the Hamster. Uh, uh, oh, and if you press the A button, you can have... Gooey come out. If you don't want him, eat him and then... Okay. You press the X button to go near an animal body and then boom. And then you press X to get off them. But we're gonna go with this one. This is Nago, the cat. I think it's a cat anyway. I think it's Nago anyway. And I think it's a cat. And you can double jump with this. Oh wait, no, triple jump. You can. And Kirby turns him into a ball. And, and he uses him like a roller thing or something like that so and it's a great way to speed run this as well uh, if you like you can bounce off enemies with this as well so you can have really good bouncing right here and oh uh, but the main thing I like this game is because uh, the way you 100% it uh, why, well, the last way is, uh, is very hard, of course, which I struggle at, but one of the ways is very amusing. Uh, you see these flowers here? Don't touch them. Do not touch them at all. Uh, so, uh, and you'll see why when we get to the end. You still have these stars, of course, or oh, this. And you can break blocks with this, <laughs> which you couldn't do originally. I don't think so, anyway. Ah, oh, I destroyed one of the flowers, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can redo a stage, so I can show off anyway. You go here, notice a flower here, and it's sad because we destroyed one of the flowers. If you, if you don't destroy, if you don't, if you leave them all alive, you actually get a really good bonus. Uh, which is required to 100% the game. So we're gonna go back here. But we still keep Nago here. And I can still use him to, uh, 
Um, I'm still using for double jumping and all that. And the music in this game is really great as well. That's also why this game is really perfect. There's a lot of other Nintendo references as well. And this is also the last Nintendo game. The last game on the Super Nintendo in the US. Well, the one that Nintendo published anyway. I think there were more Super Nintendo games after this in North America, but not published by Nintendo though, of course, but... But this was the last one published by Nintendo for the Super Nintendo in the US. Uh, not Europe though, because it never came out in Europe until the Virtual Console. Uh, which is a shame, because this is a really good game. Oh, careful with the flowers! Okay. Uh, that's the only hard thing, is to try and avoid the flowers. There we go. And after that, that the flower's happy. And you get this. What that is, is like a star and a heart. And you need to collect all of these to get the true final boss of the game. So similar to the rainbow drops in Dreamland 2, where you can fight the final boss, the true final boss. That's not just DVD, but another boss. You need all of these to finish the hunt to get the true final boss. And to 100% the game as well, so... Let's go to the second level. Okay, so... Right here... Uh, we, we have witch enemies. You have a... I think you have... I think this is an ability that's not in other games. It's the broom ability. Well, it works differently depending on the animal body. But... Essentially... I think... Let's get off. You can sweep. Uh... Oh, wait, no. I forgot. This is not Superstar. Uh, you still have to pr you have to press select now to uh, get rid of your ability. Because uh, in Superstar you would grab your helper and then lose your helper to, to then get rid of it. Uh, but in this game it's back to the original. Oh, we have two other animal bodies that are new. You have Choo Choo, which is like this octopus-like thing, and then you have Pitch, a bird. Uh, with Pitch. You can fly, but it's not really great. <laughs> and with Choo Choo... <laughs> and Kirby looks happy. And you... You can grab enemies to then put in Kirby's mouth. But most importantly, you can float. Like this. Which is very useful, so I'm gonna go with Choo Choo here. Um, and it's required to get... Uh, the the star and heart the heart star uh, in this stage. Uh, I believe you go here. Yeah, there's a hidden door here. Um, there's a hidden door here. And then what you do here? Uh, you see this spring thing here. Touch it. And then he blushes. Oh, I think it's because it's again. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, and then you just get out and then just finish the stage. And then you'll get it. Yeah, some, some of these are quite hard to get. Uh, like, the, there are also ones similar to that flower one, but this time you have to destroy some of them. Uh, this time. And not keep them alive. Uh, there are ones like that, and uh, there are some like this, and... There are also one where you have to find stuff. So, it's kind of like a puzzle game as well, kind of. Um... So, not, well, not really, but it's kind of like it. You can think of it as like a puzzle adventure game. It's similar to that. Um, Alright, come on. Let's get down. There we go. Alright, <laughs> he's so blushing. You kill me, um, darling. <laughs> okay. Alright. And then... Oh! If you get that, you just get nothing. And that's two levels done. And for third stages, you, it's all... For third, for third stages, it depends on the, the, the stage number as well. Uh, and it's a different type of thing. So the third stages, you do challenges. 
Oh, and here you have <laughs> you have Ku and Kain. Uh, Ku looks cross, and then Kain looks like. <gasps> Who's he got with him? <laughs> I'll I'll still keep Shushu though because very useful. Um, come on, run! run there we go. Why was why was that not working? All right. And some of this music. Some of the music in this game sounds will sound familiar to you some for some for some people that have played other Kirby games before, but not this one. Like this one, I, I believe was used in Kirby Squeak Squad on the DS or Mouse Attack in Europe uh, as the first stage. Oh, 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 God! Wow! Oh, there's a lot of fuzzies here as well. Okay, right. This is the challenge. Uh, the challenge is... you got to guess the Gordo that he threw through there. Now, I did not see that. I think it was this one. Yes, it was! I didn't knew it, but... You have to do this, right. Thanks to the... Thanks to the Wii... Right, I think I saw that. It looked... Like this. Yes! Uh, you can... If you time it right, you can try and do this. Right, it's that same one again. There you go. You have to get them all right. It's it's always free, and if you get them all correct, then you get the prize at the end. Uh, if if not, and if it's only like let's say you miss, you did you you don't know what one is. Uh, like if you fail uh, the first one, then you don't do the rest. And it's if it, if it's even just like uh, you only get the last one wrong, you still don't get the prize. You have to get them all right. So, even if it's one mistake, so, okay. Alright, uh, just gonna go this, this door right here, and then, <laughs> and then, this cat guy's like, mm, nice, okay. Oh, we got a star. And the star- the stars work differently in this game. Uh, for some reason. And the next one we have... We have a little girl. Okay. Oh yeah, and another game that this game has is Transparency. Uh, uh, you can see these rocks, they're like... Well, not Transparency, but like, they're kind of like Translucent. So... Which is kind of cool. Uh, which, actually, this kind of caused a problem when I tried to emulate this on the Super Nintendo Classic, because the transparency would be gone, and they'll just look solid. But there is a patch, luckily, to fix this. Uh, and I only worry too much, because the water here is also transparent. Or translucent. But still. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, it's Nago. I'm gonna keep Choo Choo, though, because I think Kirby really needs a woman. I don't know. Oh, right, these things, they're, they're like cannons. They spit you out. Oh! I got a candy! Oh, we need a stone. And then... Alright. Alright, and then we can grab Choo Choo back. There we go. And swim. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. And you fight a mini boss here. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know every mini boss. Now some of these mini bosses are literally from Dreamland 2. Oh, and you have this monkey you have to collect. Which is a reference to a game, which we'll see when we get to the end. Uh, and it's similar to the Japanese release of Dreamland 2 as well, with one of the secret characters you can get. And I will mention it when we get on. Uh, and the character is unchanged in this game. Which is weird, because this game came out in the US first, and then Japan. Like, this came out in 97 in the US, and then the Japanese release was, uh, 98. Uh... So, 
which I find strange because all other Kirby games before that were Japan first and then the US, well with the exception of Avalanche because that never came out in Japan because it was Puyo Puyo in Japan, if you guys know what Kirby's Avalanche is anyway. I'm pretty sure some of you do, like I do, but still, it's basically, and, and I'm pretty sure some of you know what Puyo Puyo is in as well, so. Anyways, um, uh, I'm gonna try and get that one up. Get out of my way, Gordo. It's impossible to dodge that one. Just gonna speed run this. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, there we go. And then we meet. We meet Chow. And the monkey is Goku. So yeah, this is Chow from a Famicom Disk System game called Yu Yu Ki. Um, uh, and it was Japan exclusive. And she was also in the Japanese release of Dreamland 2 as well. Uh, it, but the international version replaced it with a female GUI. Or the pink blob, some people call it. Oh, I got nothing! So yeah, that's what- sometimes you get references- there is like another character that's referenced to another Famicom Disk System game that was Japan only as well. But we'll meet- we'll meet those characters later on. Uh, so... Okay. Alright, uh... Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm just, uh... Go for here. I forgot what you're doing this one. So it's like, third stages are challenges, it's like, and then the fourth stages you've got to find something. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll still keep Choo Choo. Okay. And when you have the parasol ability, it looks adorable. They're having fun times! It's just what real couples do. Not, not that I find though if Kirby has feelings for Choo Choo, but I don't know. Um, or, it, or vice versa, but still. Um, oh, crap. Um, well, I, I guess they're both pink, so I guess it could make them couples, I don't know. Um, Alright. And I got an extra life. And I got a star. What was I supposed to do in this one? Oh, I was supposed to finish the stages kind. So yeah, the the fifth fifth stages are you have to be them as a certain animal. So so this one we have to finish with kind. But that one we'll get into in a moment. So we need to have kind for this one. But then again, I didn't see it anywhere. Unless there's another door we go into. Let's just do the couple thing first. There we go. Doesn't this look adorable? But it also destroys enemies on the way, so that's good. Right. Uh, I think it's this door. I forgot there was two doors. Yeah, this one has kind, so... It's a nice day! No, not shoot you. I want... I want kind of some fish. There we go. Even though it's best to be used in water, there is one area in the game. <laughs> and when you use the parasol, you get this. I think I think that I think you can do that in Dreamland 2 as well. I just forgot to do that in that game. Uh, yeah, in this game you can also bounce on enemies, which you could not do in Dreamland 2. Or even the first Dreamland, not that. Well Kirby still can't cannot bounce on it on his own, but with animal buddies. He can bounce on enemies in this game, which you cannot do in in the other in Dreamland 2 or 1. Uh, and it's weird because uh, I don't know if it's a sequel to this game or not, but Kirby 64, which is kind of based on the Dreamland series, don't doesn't have animal buddies at all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we have Kine here, and I don't know if that's a female fish. Maybe it's Kine's girlfriend. Go on. Yeah, have a smooch. Yeah, have a smooch there. No, oh, that's a nice fish. All right, uh, let's make it look obvious. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have enough of these um, romantic references. And and I got a tomato. Just love that. 
So we got that. Uh, six stages. Uh, they usually, um... Uh, I think they usually, um... You gotta find something, I think. Uh, yeah, I think you find something in these ones. Okay, well we got Choo Choo and Rick. I'll go with Choo Choo again. Alright. And this was also... So if, you, if you're playing this on some emulators, or the SNES Classic, that if, and if you've not patched it, this is, like, almost impossible to do. Because of this area here. We gotta collect that orange ball thing there. And you might be thinking, oh, this looks easy. We just gotta find a path to get through. Uh, oh, and you gotta find other things as well here. Uh, as well. Right, that's just a one up. Oh, we still got the parasol, wow. So we can still go on a date. I don't know. Alright. Oh yeah, and this is this is when it will get tricky on some emulators because the transparency here. And you cannot see things sometimes. Let's try and There we go. Nice. Okay. I wonder if Kirby and Chushu might get dropped in the boss away and do this. I don't know. Ah, oh, can I get up there? There we go. Let me collect that. Uh, we don't need the parasol anymore. Right, we need the last one. The last item. I'm not sure if it's up here. Well, clearly, there is a star here, so... Right, it's this side, so... We've got to somehow get it. Because I, I feel like going up there may mean we cannot get it. Can we? Oh, we can, so... Uh, I don't think there is something like that up there, though. Um, let me just go down. Because I forget things sometimes. Um, oh, yeah, we can get it uh, from this way. Should have got that one first, actually. Uh, this would be easier without Choo Choo, but obviously... I think Kirby seriously needs a girlfriend, so... Oh, god damn it, don't leave her behind. Alright, um, we'll just, uh, go through this then. Alright. Alright, there's this thing. Yet we cannot go past from there, so... Yeah, I was right. These spider enemies. Uh, get up there! Oh my god! And after getting all of these, we will get our reward at the end. Alright. And sometimes the doors can confuse you as well. Oh. Oh, you have Nago and a... <laughs> coup there. <laughs> Alright. Uh. So meaning, you don't have to worry about finding a bag where the animals are in anymore. You can just, um... You just have to worry about the, um... Uh... The fact that, uh... The different ones may have different animals. Either two or three or whatever. Maybe all of them in a stage. I don't know. Um... Oh, we need to go down. Down... Go down here. Oh, there's one up there, but we missed it. We can just float through here. Yeah, this game is sometimes broken as well. Because you can easily go through things without taking a hit. Or maybe less hits, or maybe doing the actual platforming. So, oh, and you have these massive kaboos now in this game. I don't think these were in other games. And we have this clown buddy here. And after getting all of his pieces, then we get the star. We got some Kirby Cola. Alright. And then we unlock the boss fight, which is Wispy Woods. Which is Wispy Woods. So with Wispy Woods here, 
uh, what you got to do is grab uh, his fruit and then spit it at him. You got to dodge his uh, white stuff as well. You like snowballs. But then after 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 the fight with him, oh god, spit it at him again. After a while, he'll turn into this, and then you just gotta do the same thing, except a bit harder. So yeah, this is another thing that I like about this game. That uh, some bosses they have of alternate phases. Well, some of them anyway, not all of them. Oh, got it. There you go. And his face is gone. Which is weird. And after getting all stars. Yeah, and I didn't know you could hang on the tree there. So then, pick the star. There you go. So that's level one finished. And off to level two. Ripplefield. They're on a date again. And then, Kine comes in and eats him. Or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you have another flower one. Alright, so... I believe this is a similar one to the very first level. Um, uh, but I think you have to destroy them this time. I'm not sure. Or was it... It was something similar. Alright, um... Okay. Alright, we'll go in here. We have... Uh, right, I'm gonna go with pitch this time because I think because some abilities require pitch, some of these require pitch anyway. So I'm gonna grab this bird, little bird. I want to eat. <coughs> oh, I just coughed. Is there something there? No, there isn't. All right. I want to eat this bird so much. All right. There's a door here. Oh. This is it. Uh, I forgot what you, what do you do though? I think you have to put water on it somehow. <gasps> yeah, you do. Uh, I, I think you have to do that, although it's not water, but I believe you do. Yeah, you do, then you do that, there you go. And leave it like that, do not touch it again. Because if you crush it, then you're not gonna get the ability. So, we're just gonna continue the stage as normal. Whoa, I got all three at once. Nice. I think you do the same thing in here as well, I guess. Yep, you do. I need, I need the ability again. But thankfully, it's just those brooms. I forgot you had to do it again. I thought it was just once, but no, you have to do it more times. There we go. Right, and it, and they should only be touched once. Uh, if they're if they're touched again, if you touch them while they're out, then they're gonna be buried, and you're not gonna get the reward. So yeah, it's kind of cool this. I don't know if you could do this with other characters. I'm I'm pretty sure no, but uh, because uh, obviously, right. I think if you hear that, then that means you got them all. Uh, if you hear that sound effect, uh, so. Oh, one HP left. Alright, we'll just get rid of our ability. Oh god. Ah, died. Okay. Well, we don't need pitch anyway, because we've we've done we've done the uh star thing anyway, so we can just continue on and burst blast ourselves through here. Oh, and there's candy over there. No, no, not slide, Kirby. We need to do that. All right, there we go. Oh, 
there we go. And then, we're gonna get it right here. Boom! We got it. And then just get some cola. Kirby cola. Kirby cola. We finished it. And then this one, we've got to do something similar. Uh, I think with this one, you still need an animal body. And I, I think it revolves the parasol because uh, the animal looks like it had a parasol on the picture. So, I believe you use the parasol in this. Okay. Okay. I think, it, I think you needed the parasol anyway. And kind of sunfish, I believe. I think so anyway, because, because of that animation right here. I, I think it was that anyway. It works better in the water anyway. You can speed run this. <laughs> Try and get that one up. And the tomato, there you go. Wait, I lost the parasol. I've, 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 I've lost the parasol. No. Unless we get it again. There's fire. There's a Gordo here. Alright, well, this can't do Billy. Yeah, I think we need the parasol. I cannot believe I lost it from taking too many damage. Unless there's another one around here somewhere, then... I guess it don't matter. <laughs> Uh, no, there isn't. We know what we're doing, though. <laughs> He's hiding behind a tree. And now with white smoke. Um, oh, we got a massive star there. Which just gives us a full star. And then another challenge one. Which, this one is very tricky as well. Alright. Alright, um... Well, uh, yeah, the challenge ones are a bit tricky, regard uh, regards of memory, because it requires memory skills, I guess. Not even a child can 100% this game without it, unless it's advanced enough, but if, it, if, you're, if you're a clueless person playing this game, you're not even going to know what to do in that sometimes. It depends. Uh, yeah. Well, let's, let's put her in the water. Get in the water. There we go. <laughs> You're in the water now. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be careful of enemies. All right. Come on. There we go. I like how Kine looks. Kine is Kine plays better in this game than Dreamland 2, because he he's only useful for the water in Dreamland 2. But in this game, he he's way better. Yeah, you do that, and then he's happy, and then you have to go to the end to get your prize. So yeah, that's how it works here. And you just gotta apparently kiss the stones. I guess it looks like. Kind's massive lips. Alright. Um. And then. Ugh! Alright. Alright, I wanna try and get the one. Oh, I got nothing! Let's try and do the. Oh. Let's try and do the challenge. Oh, this music's great. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, and these enemies. I think these have also appeared in Return to Dreamland as well on the Wii. Or Adventure Wii. Oh, there's Rick. We'll still use Kind though, because... Because fishes are better, I guess. 
because he's a fish, so fishes work better in the water. Uh, I don't need that anymore. Um. Oh, we still got something. All right. Whoa! There's a shark. Apparently, there's sharks in this game as well. All right. Um. All right. Uh, we're gonna go for here. Right, this is another challenge. This is where you gotta concentrate, kind of. You gotta look for that eel there, and not the spikes. The only way you're gonna recognize it if it's long. Right, it was this one. Because if it's long and not like a dot, or a circle, then you know it's gonna be them. So I just look at the middle one and see... Right, it was the first one, there we go. Because then I can see all of them. Alright. Right, it was this one! There we go! First try! So, you'll get the hang of these minigames. So, the third the third levels of each world is always a minigame like this. Uh, first ones are like, uh, either survival, or leave them alive, or kill the properties, or something like that. Uh, the second one is like, copy the characters, or affect the characters. Uh, the third ones are like, Challenges. I think the fourth one is finding things for them, and then the the fifth ones are matching animals, and then um, the sixth one is finding things for a character. Uh, so similar to that, but with more items. So, and then obviously the seventh one is a boss fight. So, yeah. Ah, right. oh, shark! Don't be mean to Kine and Kirby. Get up here. There we go. We're gonna go in here. Then. I, I thought you were not gonna give me it then. <laughs> okay. For some reason, it can appear there. Oh, one up. Eleven lives. Oh, yeah. Alright. Next up. We have a weird... is it a slug or a bear? I don't know what that is. Well, we're in like a water fountain area. And the levels are also great in this game. Uh, that's also why I like Dreamland 3. Uh, more than the other Kirby games on Super Nintendo. Like, I only played Superstar in this game, uh, finished, uh, finished wise. I haven't actually, uh, uh, played a Dream Course or Avalanche too much, uh, or even the Japan exclusive uh, Superstar Stacker. Uh, haven't even played much of them. Oh, <laughs> the doors are just leading to animal bunnies that we don't need because we've got Kine in the water. So, all right, it's a dark place, so I think this is it. Except these are fake ones. And if they don't move, then they're real doors. You can also tell the shade as well, but there's a hidden door here. Which I think you can only see through, like, uh, the spark ability, I think. But we don't have it, but I know it's there. Uh, uh, and thanks to... I don't know if it's the virtual console issues or anything, but... If they, if they appear grey, then that means they're, like, real doors. <laughs> which is weird. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. Or if it's Virtual Console doing it, but still, it uh, it makes it easier. <laughs> okay. Uh, get up there. 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 Uh. Right, that's a grey door. So meaning it's a real one. Right. I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, you had to go the other way to fight the boss. Well, I didn't see it. I need the spark ability to do that. Right, that's the cutter ability. Do, 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 do. 
Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's go, let's go. Good. Uh, it looks, it kind of looks like I just ran into the Waddle Dee and killed it that way. As if I'm a, I'm like a vehicle. Oh, it's a frog. Okay. I've, I kind of forgot it. I, I forgot it was a frog. Uh, so we need to find... So yeah, the fourth stages always have mini bosses. Well, well, this one has a bird, so we clearly need to pitch for the next one. So yeah. Alright. And I believe the other animal, the other animals that you're always with, it's almost like an opposite gender version. So, <laughs> as if it's like their girlfriend or something, or their sister. I don't know. Or, or perhaps their mother. I don't know. If, if they, if they even have parents, anyway. I don't know. Um. Anyways. Um. Uh, we're gonna find this place. Now, of course, these areas, like, these are not real doors. We know that- Oh, and we died. It kind of looks like Kine is about to eat it. <laughs> it looks like- It looks like he's about to eat it. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Alright. We have the ability of floating, I guess, but still. We'll still go for this door. Not all right. Like I don't know. I don't know if you go up here. No, you don't. Um, or is it? Oh, it could be there. I think it's there. Or maybe this one. I could have sworn that it was one of. Like it was here. Like, I don't know, because I can't see. Just keep pressing up. Until I find it. Until I find it, I guess. Because up there leads to an auto-scroller. Oh, it's there! And you need the rock- Oh, that's just an optional area, anyway. Oh, so I think this one leads to the secret, or not, or maybe we need the stone ability. Alright, let's go up here, and get rid of this. Okay. This time we'll try this again. Like, I don't remember some of it, so... So, I may forget some of it. Like, I know Dream Land 3 so much, but still. Oh, it, it was this side! Because it's so hidden. There you go. And you have a bunch of Gordos. And you go up here, and you have a bunch of stars here. So you can get another extra life. Well, I think anyway, if, if you could. Like I did here. And it's another boss fight. This time it's that Gordo. Which you can only attack it when... When it's got... When it's got nothing. When it's got no spikes on it. So similar to Dreamland 2. Alright. Alright. Oh! I almost had it. And I like when you finish jumping, you have the yay animation. When you stop landing and you don't move. That's cool. There you go, he's down. And you and you get the spike, you get the needle ability from that. And then you can access it to then get this frog. And then finish the stage. There you go. That's how you get it. So yeah. So yeah, you have to fight a mini boss in order to get a and I think get the ability that they have. Or uh, sometimes. I don't know if it has to be sometimes another and another another ability, but But either way, um it's it's always fight a mini boss before you grab it, so yeah. 
Uh, if you don't find a mini boss, then that means no reward. Other than finishing a stage and unlocking a new level, but still, no star reward. Wait, star reward? That sounds like a school thing. <laughs> uh, if schools even have that much days, but I don't know. Uh. Whoa, he ate me! Get out, get me out of your mouth. Alright. There we go. We have two frogs. I think they're frogs anyway. Or are they toads? There's something like that. Um. It's nothing. And obviously, you would want a pitch here. Yeah, some of these musics also also make me uh, think of like Kirby Canvas Curse on the DS as well, because some of the music uh, is directly from this game. So. Go for that door. Oh, we have Kine here. Hey, Kine, the sunfish. Easy to swim. Lovely swimming. Let's go through this door. Oh. Is that way kind supposed to be? Oh, and then you get out that side, and then that's the door. That's that's so cool. Oh, I think this area you need to have an ability with kind. Yeah, I remember this. All right. So I think I remember this. I think what you do. What's in this door? Oh, the fire, we need that. Alright. Because if I recall correctly, you might need the fire ability with Kine. But then there are some places you cannot access. And so you'll need to use Kirby. And then you have to backtrack to get Kine again. I think I think, I think it was this one. Yeah, it is. And then you need the stone ability. So you leave Kine here. And no, he will not disappear. Uh, even though I always felt like he would. Uh, because how... SNES games work. Maybe if I'm too far away from the screen, then he would disappear, but still. But you need the stone ability. So you just get it here. Or not. You gotta be careful to not die as well. You just get the stone ability. It doesn't matter... Um, well, actually, uh, there's no other animal bodies here, so... And then you just destroy that side there. So you can get kind again. In fact, I need to heal myself. And the best way to do that is to grab Gooey if you have one health left. And then you get two health back. Yeah, that's one of the ways I can heal myself. Yeah. Well, well, partially anyway. It's not full health, but still. You still get a bit of health back. So that's one of the best ways you can do it. I don't know if that was intended or not, or if they forgot to patch it out or something. But still. But you need kind to go through here. And I believe you need him to get pitch, so... So maybe that's, that's why we're doing all this. Yeah, it's this way. And then here you'll find Pitch. And you'll just spit him out and then boom. Because you need Pitch because obviously there's a female bird. So, uh, it probably, I guess it needs Pitch to make babies or something. I don't know. Or to help. I don't know. Or just to make out. I don't know. So, um. I'll get that. Do, 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 do. Right. Oh. Okay. Right. We cannot go that way. If we if we still had a kind, we can go there. But still. But we need pitch the bird. Uh. So. 
Also, what kind of bird is Pitch anyway? Because there's many types of birds. Obviously, Koo is an owl, but... But what is Pitch? Is it like a... A budgie or something? Because I know budgies are colourful, but still. But then again, budgies are not like bulls. <laughs> They're like, um... Like, we'll just swim... Or get hit a bunch of times. And it kind of sounds like a tweet as well when you get hit. Oof. Oof. Makes sense with the bird. Anyways, um... We'll keep swimming through here. Until we get out of the water. Because it's best to do this out of the water, so... Oh, god damn it. Alright. Oh, it's a, it, it, but it's a massive bird though, so it could be his mother. I don't know. It could be his, it could be his mother. I don't know. Uh, don't matter anyway. What does matter is getting a prize. Oh, it's just a partial star. And we'll do two more of these stages, and then we'll end the video off. Alright. Seems like a jigsaw piece. Oh yeah, I think I remember this one. You gotta find the other pieces. Uh. So. You move slow on this sand. Forgot about that! Whoa! Okay. Right. I'm gonna go with Nago here. I can double jump. Yeah. And obviously all animal buddies are required to finish the game. It's 100% because obviously those other animals you'll need. So... Um... Um... I believe... No, um... Okay, I believe we, um... Let's go... Well, we tipped the witch there. Um, well, a witch. Um, uh, I think you continue on through the stage and then. I think it's like this. I think it's this area. I think it was this area. Uh, where you have to guess where to go. This is very difficult. Because obviously, if you touch them again, they'll blast you through. And then you go through these doors. And they send you to this version. Which is weird. So then you have to go back here. To then. Do it all again. So it was the top one first. We know that. But was it. But is it the top or bottom? Let's try the bottom. The bottom. It was. And then. I'm pretty sure it's the middle one next. Yes, it is. I think it is. It seems like it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Maybe we go down here to find it. Uh, see if there's a door here. Yeah, there's a door there. So we'll go down the water. Move fast. Ugh! Right, there we go. Um, right, there's a door. Yeah, it's these doors, I think. So it's a star shape. So then... Oh, yeah, I remember this. You have to try and make a star. And do not screw up here. You hit once, twice there, and then there you go. When you hear that, you got it. Then you go through that door. Doesn't matter which door, they believe it's the same place. You just got to do that, and then then just finish the stage. Yeah, I remember this. Like it, it was not finding the pieces. It was oh no. Well, we've done it anyway, so dying doesn't matter. Gotta get out though. Alright. Stop 
Touching that Kirby. Touching that Kirby Wurby. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. No, don't touch that. Alright. Alright. There's nothing through that door, I'm guessing. Except for. Oh, it's Koo! We'll get Koo then. So we can learn how to fly with him. Do, 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 do. Do. Oh, we get hit a lot. But still. But we can still finish this level with a breeze. But yeah, there's the star door right there. Right, I'm gonna heal myself. There we go, slightly. Then, the jigsaw piece will give us a star heart. Or is it a heart star? I don't know. And then, the boss of this world seems to be Acro. And it is, because it's a shark. Or is it a... Oh yeah, it is a shark. Grab these rocks here, and then you just hurt him like this. Okay. Uh, for this one, I'm just gonna hit him again. Oh, I missed. So I tried to do that because this part is very difficult. It's similar to sweet stuff, where you have to spit things back at him, but it only works with certain. Things. It works with both shark enemies and the skulls he spits. It also works with these rocks as well, but the rocks deal more damage. So it's best to use them if you can. But the sharks work as well, I think. Right, we'll go to help her. Come on. Rocks work great. Oh no! Got beaten up by a shark. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Alright. And I try to get the last rock to last. So then. So I'm gonna eat that one now, but not spit at it yet. I'll spit at it now. And I'm gonna. Go down here. This is so then I can spit at it now. Oh, I missed. But you can still hit him like that. And it makes this a bit easier. Let me hit him there. Oh, we got him. Almost there. Alright. Oh, God. Alright. Got him. Get that shark! And he's dead! Just gonna swim here. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. So then the darkness goes away. Do do do, we got it. Okay, so that'll be it for today's video, guys. So, next time on Kirby's Dreamland 3, we'll tackle on the rest of the game for level 3. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Video Game Jam Poop Out. See you guys next time. Bye!